The crocodilians of today are large, amphibious ambush predators. However, they are descended from terrestrial animals, many of which were very different. Among the first was the diminutive Hesperosuchus agilis. While perhaps not as impressive as some of their later descendants, it was small carnivores like these that gave rise to modern crocodilians and their relatives, collectively referred to as crocodiliomorphs. Hesperosuchus agilis lived during the late Triassic period in what is now the Chinle Formation in the southwestern United States. The first fossils of Hesperosuchus were found in 1929. Among the team that excavated these fossils was Barnum Brown, the paleontologist that also found the first skeleton of Tyrannosaurus rex. During this time, it was thought to be an early theropod dinosaur, a common misclassification of early crocodilian relatives at the time. It was not until the 1980s that its true identity as a crocodiliomorph was realized. While Hesperosuchus did not have to wait as long to receive a name, it would not be until 1952 that it was given its scientific name Hesperosuchus agilis. Its name means Agile Evening Star Crocodile. Agile is certainly an appropriate moniker for this creature. Hesperosuchus was far smaller and less cumbersome than modern crocodilians. Instead, it had the long legs and compact feet of a swift runner. Whereas crocodilians have a low metabolism, Hesperosuchus and other basal crocodiliomorphs were endothermic, or warm-blooded. This means they maintained their own internal body temperatures, allowing them to be more active, like dinosaurs and mammals. Hesperosuchus is thought to have filled a niche similar to that of modern foxes, hunting smaller vertebrates while also using its speed to avoid larger predators. Given its long hind legs, it was likely a facultative biped, able to switch from a quadrupedal and bipedal stance. Much like some dinosaurs, such as the Hadrosaurids, some Sauropodomorphs, and possibly Spinosaurus. While likely spending time in both stances, Hesperosuchus is thought to have spent more time in a bipedal stance. This is because its forelimbs were adapted for grasping, as in theropod dinosaurs. The bones of Hesperosuchus, or a close relative, were found in the stomach of Coelophysis, perhaps the most famous Triassic dinosaur of all, confirming Hesperosuchus was preyed upon by these early dinosaurs. Before it was realized the bones were from Hesperosuchus, it was thought the bones were from juvenile Coelophysis, leading to Coelophysis being mistaken as a cannibal. While Coelophysis is known from numerous skeletons, in general, dinosaurs were still a minority during the late Triassic period, and the Chinle Formation was no exception. Instead, Hesperosuchus lived in the shadows of more distant relations of crocodilians. These included the armored Aetosaur Desmatosuchus, the dinosaur-like Ephigea, and the deadly predator Postosuchus. While many of the other Pseudosuchians dwarfed Hesperosuchus, it represented the future. In many ways, Hesperosuchus and its relatives can be thought of as a crocodiliomorph equivalent of Archaeopteryx. The direct ancestors of crocodiliomorphs were large, facultatively bipedal predators, a body plan that was preserved in the closely related Rauasuchids like Postosuchus and continued in the most basal crocodiliomorphs like Carnufex. Hesperosuchus is one of the most primitive known crocodiliomorphs to break away from this trend, remaining small throughout adulthood. That said, Hesperosuchus probably isn't the ancestor of today's crocodilians, just as Archaeopteryx probably isn't the direct ancestor of today's birds. In paleontology, it is much more likely to find the evolutionary equivalent of an uncle than the direct ancestor, and harder to tell the difference. Just as birds were the sole surviving dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period, small crocodiliomorphs similar to Hesperosuchus were the only Pseudosuchians to survive the mass extinction at the end of the Triassic period. While these crocodiliomorphs survived at least until the late Jurassic period, fully quadrupedal crocodiliomorphs evolved from them not long after the mass extinction. These small reptiles then diversified into a staggering array of species some of which are still alive today. In this regard, despite its unassuming size, Hesperosuchus holds a very important place in the tree of life. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. Have a great day, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button.